do you believe that any woman in a relationship should not have Instagram or are you saying that just women who are in a relationship and are, fo- and are posing in their bikinis or, you know, doing any kind of a sultry sort of stuff, they're the ones that shouldn't have Instagram? Well, if you're in a serious committed relationship with a guy and you have, you know, sexy photos of yourself on the internet, you know, Instagram is just one medium that you can do it. Yeah, it is cheating. Cheating, like, what about the guy? Is he, if he if he's in a relationship, is he allowed to have Instagram? Well, we're different. We're not in our undies. Sorry, Carl. I don't think I was down. asking you. I was asking oh, these guys. Well, You'll see how I, it is I, over I, here. Let me, ask, let me ask you a question. Are men and women equal? Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, we're not at all. Okay. We're not. Oh, here we go. Uh, men and women you, are you, different. So why are we, <laughs> yes, we're different. Of course we're different. But, you know, were you talking about pay parity? What are you talking about when it comes to being different? Well, the definition of equality is being the same in quantity, size, degree, or value, and nothing between us is equal. We're very different. You don't think we are of equal value? Uh, Well, here's the thing. From a human's rights perspective and, you you know, the value of your life, yes, we're equal. No one is better than anyone in that regard. But when it comes to biology and intersexual dynamics, we're 100% different and that, that is true why. scientifically that he's he's correct we are different right but but, but I, I, what i don't understand is how does that apply to the question it that i asked so, when when i yeah, said so, so let, guys. Me, let me get okay. to it. so the reason why is because we have differing sexual strategies men want quantity women want quality so our sexual strategies are literally opposing each other so men want to be able to get with as many girls as possible, right? Unlimited sexuality. Shout out to our guy, Roll Tomas. We talk about this in detail. Versus women, I say, women want typically unlimited security from the best man that they can get versus men want to get the most women they can get. So it's been that way since the beginning of time. Powerful and strong men have had hordes of women and then women align themselves with the strongest men. So we don't play by the same set of rules and our sexual strategies influences how we view the world, how we view the opposite gender, how we uh, try to uh, procreate with each other. We're very different. So... What's what men can do, women can't necessarily do sometimes. So we're not the same. So, and it's so, just unfortunate double standard that, that does not benefit women for once. Sorry. So just going back to that question <laughs> that I asked, can a man be on Instagram a, a, yes. in a relationship, but yes, not a woman? It's not the same. It's it's not the same. Why? Well, it, does it depend on the content that well, they're putting out? Like, if I'm to. shirtless on Instagram, like. Showing me big fat man boobs and gyrating around a sexy dance, that would be cheap. What if I was just on there talking about, you know, fitness apps and stuff? That's a whole different vibe. So it's content related, right? Yeah, but the thing is, is that I don't think people understand this that a man that's the, one, of, even a man that's extremely good looking is not going to get nearly the amount of options that a woman that's mediocre. Are well, you that kidding? True. No, that is, that is so yes. not true. But, 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 Do you well, know you. how many hot guys get DM'd on Instagram? Oh, we're not talking about women? DMs. We're talking about real life no, benefits, no, like no, you're being not. served you're talking about, first at the shop and stuff no, like that. I'm yeah. talking about Instagram. You're saying a man can go on Instagram in a relationship and it not be considered oh, cheating. That from our chat. So, okay, um, I'm going to get one of my guys to show you guys something. But yes, I, a lot of women are unaware of this. But men, unless they're in a the top two percent of looks and aesthetics and everything else like that they get virtually no play in online dating sites instagram men don't get as much sexual attention as women think the issue is that women see the world through their view they think i get a lot of attention so attractive guys must be getting a lot of attention too and that couldn't be further from the truth they are though men do, get nearly, men do not get nearly the same amount of value uh but sexual they're attention still getting do. it so i don't but understand not, not as much as uh, like you know there's a lot much. of sexy but so girls just online. because a girl might get say let's say 50 dms that are, have guys wanting to date her when the guy gets 20 dms yes there might be a little difference there but they're still getting hit on by let's, let's get back to the old nightclub not, not, rules let's not, get back to the no. nightclub if you were at the nightclub, and the boys have talked about this on the Fresh and Fit podcast, boys will line up and will stand there for ages. Right, I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Okay. On, on the screen right here, we have uh, a chart from OK Cupid, And this illustrates that even the most attractive men in the light blue are not even compete are barely competing against girls in the mid-range. Average it's not even girls. half. It's not even it's half the level, received. right? Received. Not even half of the messages received. Yeah. Now, that's on a dating site. On Instagram, this is even more pronounced. Okay? And this doesn't account for, you know, the plenty of fish data, the tender data that we have. Men do not get nearly as many options as women. And even if we're talking about top-tier guys, they still cannot compete. 
men and women are not the same. We're not blank sleeve. Yeah, equals. no, I know they're not it's the same. Different. Hold on, let me finish, please. You're just not it's making. Not, you're not actually proving your point very well. My, I literally have a chart on the screen proving that women get far more attention. You've got a chart from a dating internet. site that says women get more attention. Yes, that's obvious. But the point you made was that women should not be allowed on Instagram if they're in a relationship because of the attention they get. And you're kind of saying that guys can. So, question for you: If you're dating somebody, right, mm. should you be on a dating app? Not on a dating app, no. Okay, perfect. So do you know, right? Instagram is one of the biggest dating apps in the world. Yeah, I get that. But it's also it's also an app where people like to share other things. It's not all just thirst traps, right? So you yes. know, every if, if you're if you're in a relationship, not every girl is posting a picture of herself in a bikini. So here's the problem. Aren't they? No. If if <laughs> if there's two scenarios here, right? A guy posts a picture of himself, mm. let's say abs, shirtless, right? Yeah. yeah. He gets attention. A girl posts a picture or a story or post, right? Chicks attention. Yep. The problem is that like attention is way out skilled and it's gonna be sexual because off rip, what do guys want? They want to look at pictures and take a shot at the girl. That, that's it. Girls may say, Oh, he's cute, he's handsome, but they're not, they're not gonna really approach him like, oh, I want you. It's like, okay, cute, hard eyes, and that's it. Girls are, are gonna go after it like in a different way, we're saying. And also we're specifying that when she has sexy photos of herself on the internet and she's in a relationship, that is cheating. That is disrespectful yeah, to the man. Okay, what if the guy, what if the guy listen, is posting a shirtless <laughs> top and he's in a relationship? Is that cheating? No, no. because it's not the same at all. Well, it is like, the same before, just because it doesn't why, get as I know much why it's attention. Different. I know why it's different, you know guys. Listen, this, as guys, we zoom in on the girls' guys, photos. Guys, we zoom guys. in. So, yeah. yeah, but that's it, your issue. Guys, let, me, let, me, let me break this down for y'all, okay? So let's... let's let's uh, Jackie, let me let me ask you a question. What is your dream car? My dream car? Yes, your dream car. Oh, I'm not She into can cars. have any car she wants. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the dream She's car? What do you what do you, what do you want? I'm probably driving. I'm driving a Range Rover. I love it. So, Range let's Rover. just say I've okay. already got so, it. So, so let's go let's go into a, a scenario here, okay? Let's go into a scenario. Oh. But that's not us playing oh. these sound effects. Oh, I love that. So I'm a fan of so sound effects. We're going to go into a scenario here, mm -hmm. all right? And just let me finish let me finish this concept, guys. Let me let me get okay. through it, okay? Okay. So let's say you go to the uh, to the dealership and you buy a brand new Range Rover, mm -hmm. okay? Range Rover Sport. You've been wanting it for a while, fully decked out, hundred thousand dollars, right? Australian, hundred twenty dollars, hundred twenty thousand Australian. Three hundred right? here. We got the luxury car tax. You don't know about. Okay, three hundred k, three hundred k, right? Yep. So you drive it off. You you know you you shake hands with the car dealer, sign the paperwork, pay the money, buy it cash. You're good to go. Drive it off the lot. You don't care about it losing value, or whatever. This is your dream car. Take mm. it back to your house. Two weeks later, okay, the uh, the car dealer comes back to your place, says, hey, listen, man, we're kind of short on cars. Uh, we're going to need to put a for sale sign on your car. And a couple days a week, we're going to just need to put it on display back at the dealership. And, you know, one or two people might test drive it. Are you okay with that? <laughs> How would that make you feel? I know the How analogy you you're trying to make. I own that car. I don't own my partner in a relationship, though. I don't on, own them. On. Again, answer the question. How would that make you feel? Well, obviously, I wouldn't be okay with that. Okay, thank you. That's exactly how men feel when their women post sexy photos of themselves on the and, internet and to advertise to other men because women, men are territorial with their women. It's been that way since the beginning of you time. You don't so, own I us in a relationship, so finish. we can we post finish. what we want. Let's if you see. have an insecurity with Let that, that's on you. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yo, I'm letting finish you finish, but every time I let you finish... You're literally cutting me off right now. Yeah, <laughs> like, I I'm know. Kidding. Okay, go, yeah, go. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? No, I'm laughing because you're not letting me finish. So my point I is did. this. My, my point is simply this. Men, that's how men view relationships with women. They might not admit this, but men are territorial with their women. This is why women that are promiscuous have a very difficult time getting men to commit to them because men don't want to be with women that other men have been with or they don't want a girl that has high mileage. That's why when you went to the dealership, you paid full price for that vehicle, brought it back home. And then someone said, hey, I want to still be able to see it or whatever. You had a point of contention with that. Why? Because you paid full price for the vehicle and you feel like you're getting used and abused when you put all the money down. That's how men view relationships and marriage with women. If I'm going to give you my last name, you cannot go out there and embarrass me. Men and women are not the same and when it comes to can relationships. I just, can I now say something? 
Women We've sometimes feel the same way. We could be in a relationship with a man who's gorgeous and he's posting shirtless tops on Instagram and we feel like, oh, that, you know, you're, that's a thirst trap, right? You're wanting attention. So why is it different? I don't, you just think it's okay for a guy to do it, but not okay for a girl to do it because you're territorial. We can be territorial too, but it goes back oh, to my point. Oh, the worst thing is a territorial woman. But my point woman, is, is that you, you just don't own someone like your analogy about the car is way off because that is something I've paid for and I own. In a relationship, I don't pay for it and I don't own the person. Here's the thing. You're 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 letting your feelings, right, get in the way I'm not, of understanding. I'm the not. Basic I'm logic. thinking the rationally. I, I'm really can not. I please, can I please finish my point? I you love speak. saying I'm, that. I'm you say that as a really, really a pass, passive aggressive It'd way of having a conversation. <laughs> Not really, because I see what you're doing. I see right through it, but go ahead. I'm so, here's the thing. I'm explaining to you how men view relationships. You might mm. not like it. It might hurt your feelings. You might say, I'm not a piece of property or whatever, but with all due respect, fuck your feelings. This well, is your, your feelings. I don't yeah, care about okay. your feelings either. Feelings. You, you're actually misogynistic and egotistical and it's it's a kind of a concern the way you view relationships. Like you have ownership oh. of women. Yeah, that's kind of how it's coming across. What, what, what's, when what's, do we say we own women? Yeah, oh, we it's say like you, if I'm going to give you my last name and I'm going to commit to you, then you're not allowed to have a for sale sign around your neck by being in a bikini. That that kind of behavior is like, that scares me in a relationship. Oh, I would remember, never want to be with a guy that is like that. A woman can I'm, do whatever she wants. Yeah, she can do whatever she We're wants, just honestly. Saying, our standards are this. If you want to comply, you can. You can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And, and re remember, we're talking about a committed relationship with a man. So if you put pictures like that on the internet, th that's fine. You can do it. We never said you can't do it. You're putting words in our mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm simply saying, if I'm going to commit to you, give you marriage, give you a title, give you a ring, give you children, I expect a certain type of woman. Why is it that when men have standards... She's giving you all those things too. Met, exactly. No, 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 I love no, it no. how it's She's just giving them you giving, women. We, we, no, you're no, no, giving no. it to us. Let me finish. We should finish. be so thankful. Let me finish. When a man <laughs> gives a... Because here's the thing. Women control sex. Men control relationships. So since I am the gatekeeper to relationships... You want to take my last name. Last time I checked, girls want to walk down an aisle in a white dress with their daughter, with their father leading them, correct? To a man. Women are the ones that want security in a marriage. So if I'm a man and I'm going to give you that, I need to vet you and make sure that you are a good candidate to be my wife. Oh to my God, my I family. want to vomit so, listening I, to what you're <laughs> saying. <laughs> First of all, me? you are. do you live in the 1960s? <laughs> Women are making their own money these days, my friend. I am the one that supports the man in a relationship. I don't need security from a man. You just... Okay, you, that might be you. And that's a lot of women. No, actually, no. I'm jumping in on Jackie's side here. Actually, hang on. Hang on. Here's, here's Palestine. She's wild. She's from Palestine. Don't muck with her. You're Molotov. Just so you know, I post bikini shots on my Instagram and I'm engaged and my partner is totally secure with that. You guys are full of shit. You're a bit of a thirsty bitch, though, right? On there, when you're doing, who who do you want attention from when you're doing this? No, no, no. We can do it, guys. We can, can do, do it. what we want. We're still gonna get proposed to, dickhead. Oh I wow! So you, there's no need to be I nasty, girls. Not I'm not being nasty. You. I'm yeah. just. I'm literally like. I just think your views are really antiquated. Here's the thing. Again, like I said, this is how men view relationships. This is how men not generally men. feel. No way. Men all men. Not all men. Well, you're gay, Brooklyn. Well, you stick to your own. But lines. Don't. men guys, don't. Men don't. Kyle, guys, you guys, don't. Can I, Speak can I up, Kyle. Point? It's like you. I finish my point here. Like I'm not allowed, I don't think we're never allowed to talk in this interview. It feels. Because here's the thing. You guys asked us to come Here's on your show. Theme. We're answering the questions, mm. and you guys are not letting us answer the questions. You're just cutting us off no, and shaming us. Or I'll definitely let I'm you answer. You, I'm simply telling you how men feel about giving their commitment away to women. You don't like the answer, but I'm telling you how men generally think. It's just that they can't say this because look at how you guys responded to what I told you. Mm. Shame, guilt, insults, trying to attack our masculinity, whatever it may be. Men can't be honest no. with women because you guys can't accept it's, the truth. It's a debate. It's your opinion versus my opinion. Going back to what you're saying. You're saying you don't like care. Like, oh, I could provide my own money, my own security. Congratulations. That's great. 
But regardless, when women make a certain amount of money, they still want a man that makes more money than they do. Typically around 26% more. So, or no, 52% more. So Where are you, you getting those stats that? from? I, can I okay, ask? Keep it. Here in the United States. Please, please I don't want minute. another chart least, on the screen. This they, want, <laughs> they want at least 26 <laughs> to 52% more income than they do. Women date up. This has been known since the beginning of time. Women do not only date their equals, if not preferably higher. So if a man is expected to come in, right, bring security, make more money, etc., why can't he have requirements? Why is it that a woman can say, I want a guy that makes this much money, this tall, this good looking, this charming, this confident, and a man says something simple, like, I don't like to date women that put sexy photos of themselves on the internet for other men to see when she's supposed to be my woman. Why is that met with such contempt from women? Tell me that. Well, he should take his Instagram, Instagram is, is, down too. That's my whole point is, is your on, double is it, standards. You've isn't got it double a jealousy? Standards. I think it's a jealousy issue because like I've yep. dated women that were online and had big Instagram followers and models, singers, all this. I've never, th like, I've never thought, oh, like even my friends though, you're not wrong. My friends have said, bro, your missus is doing this online or whatever. This is over the years. And like, I couldn't care because I'm, I'm, I'm solid. And in myself, maybe yourself. I'm a fool. Maybe I'm a fool. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I, I do agree with Jackie that uh, your partner shouldn't be. It's not like a pet. You don't own them. You can't control them. But I know what you're saying. You're not wrong. What you guys are saying, as a generalisation. But I think some men, some women, they think differently. But yeah. I do think Here's when you're younger, in your twenties, you are jealous. Men are crazy. When we're not, we don't get our head together until we're in our late thirties. Can I just? Really, can I just? We're mental. Stop you guys for a second. We're going to take a short break and come back. Is that okay? Because we've got calls coming through. So people oh, yes. that want to ask you some questions. We have some calls because if you if you just tuned in, obviously we're talking about a viewpoint that you guys have, which is if you're in a relationship, a girl should not have an Instagram account because Technically, that's cheating because of the amount of tension she gets from well, from it's guys. It's not just the account. I think it's the account where you're d gyrating around in your undies or less and no, no, blowing kisses and all this I, stuff. I, I'm pretty sure I asked. Can you can you just have an Instagram account and and no, not? We, and, we, we clearly we clearly established that it's sexy photos when you're in a committed relationship that's disrespectful. But the thing is, is you're saying a guy can post sexy photos and he can do that in a relationship. Yes, yes. men and women are not the same. Right. So, but you said that men love qual quantity over quality, right? So well, you, that is true. you'll react differently when a female pays you attention to what a, a, a female would. You know? oh, any any f attention from any female ever is just, uh, we think, oh yeah, they want to bang us. That's what we think. Yeah. And so you, I believe that you guys are more likely to act on it because like you said, it's quality over quantity. That's correct. Yeah. I think that wait, I think she's wait, spot on. There. From a male perspective or a female perspective? So, from your perspective, you say the males yep. want quantity over quality. Yes. So, if mm -hmm. you're getting attention on Instagram, yeah, you're more likely to message them back. You're more likely, exactly, to act on it. Okay, but the thing is, is that women rarely message men. Like I told, like I showed Are you, you guys before. Yeah, but it was half, to... only half. Yeah. Well, well, according to your data. You yeah, they're still you're still yeah. getting messaged. So let's say I'm Here's getting thing, messaged guys, by. Guys, can I just make one point? Can you just let me finish if for a second? Ask a question. You should let me finish. I I <laughs> just want to make one point. So if I'm on Instagram and I'm getting forty DMs yeah. and you're getting twenty DMs, my point is is that you guys are more likely to respond to the twenty DMs than we are to the forty DMs. Here's the thing: men and women are not the same. Women, w women, the yeah, men are more likely to reply. Attention. They want women like attention. Men want sex. That's 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 how it is. So when a girl's out there advertising herself, it's not the same as when a man is advertising himself because a man's not going to get nearly the same amount of attention. And then on top of that, men of status, men that are attractive, that uh, have uh, uh, money, hey, it's just exercising options. Men are going to go ahead and enact on those options if they have the ability to do so. So my thing is, a man is capable of having sex with other women while still loving his girl the same. So it's not that big a deal. Wait, but it is so, a big deal so if your girl's out here and are fielding options, if your woman's out here fielding options, Bingo. that's an issue. Oh, Bingo. sorry. So you're actually saying that in a relationship, it's okay for men to go and explore other options, but we have to be happy with you and not explore options. Absolutely. Close on your end, open on my end, and I think it should be honest Why? between the two. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why That's would crazy. anyone agree to that? You, you can't just yeah. go sl throwing that thing around and women sit at home waiting for you to come home. Don't you just smell the oh. juice of another woman on you. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
Can all men get away with this? Absolutely not. A small minority of men can. But the reality is, since the beginning of time, strong, powerful men, right, that had money and status were always able to have hordes of women. Look at Hugh Hefner. Look at Dan Blazarian. Look at kings. Look at sultans of past. With this, this is what women do. Women are attracted to men. But at least, mate, bro, women. I spoke. I spoke to. Da I spoke to Dan. I spoke to Dan Balsarian. Yeah, I'm sick of you asking to finish your long, boring w w answers that are the same answer every time we ask you a question. Even Dan Balsarian last week well, told to me to show. my face, ta "Yeah, so fucking what, clown? Here you are on the show. I can turn you off as well." Just turn these clowns off. See you, fellas. Grow up. Ring us back when you're 30 and you've got half a brain. You're not running around being led by your own dicks. Bye-bye. See, See you ya. later. Turn Bye. them off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, these guys, I didn't mind having them on. Yes, we asked them to come on the show. Yes, we asked them their opinion. This dickhead over there... He just keeps going, men and women are different. I know. I can, I can root who I want. Exactly. A woman should just do what I say. No, but grow up, bro. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Even Dan Belsarian said he's so lonely because the rooting around and the parties are fun, mm. but the guy's lonely. Mm. And all the way, by the way, during the whole ad break in the song, they were just shit canning you, Jackie, on their podcast. I, so I, I'm me... not surprised, Kyle. I mean, they just think because if a woman has a healthy debate that, you know, we're a punish. These are misogynist toads that have got a bit of a podcast and all their followers are probably also misogynists mm. and that's just the way it is. For and sure. It takes all types to make the world go round. Yeah, These guys are out dipping it everywhere. There are men that's fine. out there on podcasts that haven't audience that actually believe this stuff and are influencing people with these antiquated views about women. Now, hang on. Mitch has called through from Penrith. He agreed with the boys. And I sort of did on a few levels, but then they got too weird, like a, like a weird hating mm. women cult. Yeah. Mitch, what did you agree with on that and what did you not agree with? Mate, they delivered it completely wrong. What it should be is I have no problem with anyone having Instagram. However, if you commit to a relationship with your partner, whoever it is, it, you're giving them your whole self and vice versa. So why do you need to have the Instagram and post the photos? Shouldn't you just get in the bikini and say to your husband, geez, don't I look fantastic? And he'll go, you look amazing like the first day I met you. And isn't that yep. enough? Isn't that why you went together to say, look, I think you're beautiful? Um, so what is the point of the posting? And I, I do Instagram? get it. I do understand I think, that some men it's... get jealous of that and start thinking, well, Jesus, you know, you're not just walking through Westfield in a bikini, so why why are you just throwing it out for the world? I think yeah. that's up to every so every for? individual relationship, and you know, I think that's your choice and your partner's choice. That is choice true. Everyone's different. If you're a right. man expects that, then he should take his photos down as well. Like absolutely it's easy. Let's go, to, let's go to Kayla. Hi, Kayla. What do you want to say? Good morning. Oh. Jackie, you held your composure so well because I don't think I've yelled at the radio so mm. much in my whole life. <laughs> I, see, I, I, my knew, I knew if I was yelling or they'd just be like, oh, typical woman screeching. Yeah, yeah, so, that's right. you know, they, they go to the real obvious digs and, you know, oh, there's not well, much Without a doubt. Argument. And I think, Kyle, thank you for coming to your senses in the end. Sorry, and listen, I, just, this I, I tried to hear their point of view and then they became, they just kept dragging out their, and the same, it was like a political statement, mm. just kept saying the same thing over and over again. And yeah, that shit doesn't fly. It's oh, bullshit. mate, they're dumb enough it's to run losers. a country, so you may as well let them. But yeah. at the end of the day, I've been with my husband for 15 years. I've, I'm on social media. He's not because he just doesn't know how to work it, bless his soul. But they're pretty much <laughs> saying that it is my responsibility to control men's actions in my inbox. I don't... Well, I'm not accountable for what men do in my life. That's their own business. So if right. men are coming into my DMs, it's my responsibility to shut it down, which they're not... But if that was the case, I'm not responsible for them. They're responsible for themselves. So don't you dare put that on women. That's like saying if you're wearing a bikini, you're asking to get yeah. assaulted. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's, it's the same sort of mentality. Yeah. Hundred percent, right. it is. That is their problem. Good luck to them. Please, don't ever let them in our country. Uh, I think <laughs> that, that, uh, uh, I do think a lot of young men do sort of get it go down this road because they're so full of confusion and jealousy and turning mm. from a boy to a man you're a real whack job and i'm not joking i'm serious mm. everyone i know admits that they were a lunatic uh, until they were in their late 30s because mm -hmm. we are still growing yeah. our brains our bodies our, our thoughts our opinions right these guys are just young idiot dumb. young dumb full of cum that's all they are that's it okay we'll take one more caller hello chris what did you want to say good morning Morning, morning, guys. Uh, yeah, I've been in a relationship, actually married to my wife for about seven years. Yeah. 
And uh, I can't believe what these guys are saying. I'll take a photo of my wife in a bikini and tell her to post it. Like, it, oh, honestly, the analogy, you, with that, analogy with that uh, Range Rover in that is oh. the same thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was the dumbest analogy. analogy. I mean, honestly. Oh, God. No, but yeah. seriously, like, if I've got a, a girl with a, with a good looking bob, which I do, I want to show her off. Yeah, yeah, you're proud of, why, of her, right? That's, that's why that's I think difference. it's up to every individual relationship. Everyone's different. There's no blanket rule, you know. Some that's people right. might not be comfortable with it. Others, like Chris, are happy and proud that their wife looks great in a bikini and you post whatever you want to. That's right. Jackie, 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 you should do a thirsty topless shot and send it over to the fellas now and see what they think. Yeah, I will, I will. <laughs> will you? Oh, I was totally no, doing that as a joke. I didn't only, realize. It'll only give them more <laughs> ammunition. Okay, we're going to play everyone's favourite radio game. Forget about those idiots. We're going to put something in Jackie's mouth and people are going <laughs> to ring up and guess what it is. Not misogynistic at all. 131065, here at Kiss. You've been great. Thank you so much. Kyle and Jackie O. Catch up on Kyle and Jackie O. Search Kyle and Jackie O on iHeartRadio. Or wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs> Kiss.